Mary is someone in the Bible who had so much trust in God. She had so many questions and details about her life that were unclear, but she was given a message from God by an angel, and she decided she could always trust God, so she could feel joy about all the changes in her life. This angel told her she would marry Joseph and have a baby, and to not be afraid. Mary may have thought she was just a normal person, but because she trusted God and was willing to follow him, she was able to be part of the miracle of baby Jesus, the king of all kings. This is it. This is the finale. We are closing in right now. This is going to be an exciting thing. My name is Jacob Lewis and this is The Last One Standing. All right, the final two, Dio and Hannah, congratulations on advancing this far in last one standing. Obviously today, we're gonna know the answer to that question, who is the last one standing? Each of you have a handful of competition wins under your belt. You've won immunities, you've formed alliances, you've been through a lot in this competition and it has all led to this moment. Right here on this beach, the finale. And let me tell you, it's gonna be a finale. It is gonna be quite the challenge. Are both of you ready? I'm gonna ask for the immunity necklace back because we don't need that anymore. We are deciding who's going to be the champion. All right, let's head over to the competition. Hey, Jacob, how are you? Do good, Marcy. I have a challenge for you. Okay. I challenge you this week to um, speak kind words and if you wanted to gossip, instead say something positive about somebody. Okay, challenge accepted. Okay. Encourage people instead. That's good. I challenge you to go make a sand angel. Oh, challenge accepted. All Final two, we are here. This is the championship competition, the finale relay. Both of you are gonna start right where you are, and on my go, you're gonna run to grab your raft, which you will then take out to the bamboo buoys out there. You will swim around the bamboo buoy and come back onto the beach. From here, you're gonna run, and you are going to have to slingshot some apples. You have plenty of ammo there. You just have to make contact with the apple to then move on to the final piece, which is the tree climb. You have to climb the tree, and in that tree, there are two hidden coconuts. You need to find one of those coconuts and drop it down to the ground for you to be the winner and to be the last one standing. Final two, are you ready? On my go, it'll be three, two, one, go, and the final competition will start. Three, two, one, and go. Both of them are going strong here. Their rafts are in the water and they are paddling. Some strong kicks with all they've got there. Hannah looks to maybe have a small, small advantage on the turn. Ooh, but Dio made, it, made up some room there. He made up some room and he is on his way back. Hannah is going full face in the water, swimming to shore right now. There they are, they're both out of the water and they are moving on to the slingshot portion. Dio's picking up his slingshot. Hannah has hers now as they begin to take aim. Two misfires right off the bat, but they're reloading. Their hands are slippery at this point. This has to be difficult. There you go, Dio makes contact. He is off to the climb. Hannah is still shooting. It's not too late. Close, just a little bit above there. 
Dio is starting the tree climb as Hannah loads the slingshot. Just slightly outside as Dio is making his way up the tree. Can he spot one of the coconuts? And he drops it. Dio has won the finale. Come on down from the tree, Dio. There we go. Dio has been crowned the last one standing. There we go. Dio, well done. Thank you. You finished first, and I would like to crown you one last time here with this necklace. You are the last one standing and the champion of this competition. Congratulations. Woo! Man, what a great time. I came in second and I didn't come in first, but the more important thing is, is I made some of the best friends out of the whole thing. And I just hope everyone can remember, like it's not always about winning and the relationships I established. I'm so happy for Dio. He deserves this more than anyone else I know and I just established great friendship. So that's all that really matters. Oh guys, that was so much fun. I'm so grateful to just everybody that I got to compete with. So grateful to just be able to be out here today. This was one of the most fun things I've ever done. You know, but even though it feels really good that I just won that, woo woo. I was so grateful for all the friendships that I got to make. I felt like everybody that competed here was just the best people, so much fun to be around. I've, I made friendships that I feel like are gonna last for the rest of my life. That was, win or lose, it didn't really matter in the end because we all got to be such good friends by the end of that. That was so much fun. I gotta say, it felt good to get the win and always remember who we did it for. Sam kept me in, in the turtle finding round. She got me through the whole thing. Took it for Sam, let's go! What's up, eKids? We have been in our Stand Firm series. So the last couple weeks, we've been learning how to stand firm and why we stand firm. And we've learned a lot, right? We know that we're equipped to stand firm because God gave us his full armor. We know that we're citizens of heaven. How cool is that? We know that we're a light for others. And we know that through Jesus, he gives us the strength to be courageous so we can stand firm. And today we're gonna talk about standing firm by living out our faith. So what do I mean by living it out? When we live out our faith, that means every day we try our best to honor God with what we do. So that could be being kind, showing love, saying prayers, going to Sunday school, anything like that. We're following God's example of how he lived. Now we're not perfect, but we're trying our best, right? So speaking of living out our faith, I want to play a little game with you guys. So I'm going to invite our friend Kate in. Hi Kate! Hi guys! Say hi to Kate! So Kate is here because she's got some fun objects and she's going to ask me what they remind me of and how we can live out our faith through this. I don't understand, but I, I hope you can explain. Alright, you guys ready? Um, a basketball? Basketball. Okay, so it's like basketball practice or any sports practice or game. Let's say you're playing, right? And yeah. you get frustrated. So you're super frustrated because you're losing. Well, you can live out your faith by taking a step back, taking a breath, saying a quick prayer, and choosing to be kind to the players, to your teammates, and yourself. Such a good idea. Right? Okay, what's next? Okay, um, a backpack. A backpack. What does that have to do with faith? Okay, so you're at school. Yeah. You guys are at school, and you notice a kid is sitting by themselves at the lunch table, or they're new, or they have no friends. You can live out your faith by being loving to them, by being kind to them, showing God's love. That's another way to live out your faith. Okay. Cool. Next up. Um, phone. Oh, phone. Oh, that's a hard one. Okay, phone or computer or iPad. Okay. Whenever you're on any of those electronics, you can live out your faith by making sure what you're watching is pleasing to God. 
good one. Right? Or that your parents would be okay with you watching. There's so make a lot of gross stuff out there. Right? So Ugh. make sure whatever you're watching is kind and nice to people. Okay. Right? Keep that in the back of your mind. Okay, what's our last one? I'm sure these are for me to eat. Oh, we I don't, they, don't, they don't have anything to do with faith, right? I'll give them back to you. Okay. Promise. All right, cookies. Okay, let's say you're eating dessert with your family. One way you could live out your faith is talk to your parents about what you've been learning in eKids or ask them what they've been learning at church. That's one way you can keep the conversation going. Is that fun? Ooh. I know another way. Yes, eating them. <laughs> True. So you guys, my challenge to you is to get creative with living out your faith. Kate and I just talked about how there's so many random ways we can live out your faith, and you can too. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my gosh, finally someone. We shot this show called Last One Standing. Uh, it's been a while now since we shot it, but they left me out here and uh, I've just been pretty much eating the stuff I can find in the woods. So, oh my gosh, I'm so happy to finally see someone again. All right, uh, I think the show's a wrap now. Let's go home. <laughs>